I moved 30 times by the age of 30. I grew up in social housing. My mom was a single parent. Uh, she raised seven kids. Uh, so social housing was a cornerstone for our life. It was really our survival. The issues facing urban Aboriginal millennials is certainly trying to secure housing for their educational needs and opportunities. Uh, those that are young professionals trying to make their way up and get their career uh, started off. Um, and then of course there's young families that have their needs. We're the fastest growing population in Canada. We're overcoming the impacts of residential school, overcoming the impacts of trying to reclaim our identities. So those things combined have us behind the eight ball in many ways as we try to reclaim who we are and try to move our step forward and do better for our, our children. I think we need to be looking at all the needs of all the individuals. So a person's needs as a professional is very different than a low income earner. A person that's suffering from mental health and addictions issues is very different than someone who's got a family of four. So we have to look at the individual needs and we need to come up with a strategy to ensure that those needs are being met. My hope is that we're gonna build bridges between the municipal, provincial and federal governments. We're going to make this a platform issue. We're in an election year. I think the hope is to see that the glass is going to be half full if we're willing to look at this as a human rights issue.